let's talk about probability distribution functions um, and random variables. Um, those two ideas are going to be helpful when um, we introduce this concept of an expected value. The idea of a probability distribution um, is just really um, the idea that you may have a set of values. For example, if you were to roll two dice, um, those um, values that you could get, the smallest you could get with two dice would be maybe a one and a one. Um, and if you did that, let's say you have one dice and another one, two, three. I'll just do a couple of values here. One, two, three. <coughs> so a one and a one could give you a two. A one and a two could give you a three. A one and a three could give you a four, and so forth. If we go down to the next row, a two and a one could give you a three. A two and a two could give you a four, a five, six, and so forth. Um, and we could continue this table onward. Um, so you might have one die that would be a red, and the second die might be a green, but the two together give you a sun. Um, now, the set of values that those um, sums could be from rolling those two dies, the smallest one would be a two, and we know that the largest one would be um, if we were to have two sixes um, thrown those two dice, so that would be a 12. But the range of values that this could take on will range anywhere from, um, from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then if we want to talk about the probabilities with which those could happen, um, we'd have to just simply do a count. So the probability um, associated, for example, with oh, um, rolling snake eyes, a one and a one. Well, there's one way to do this out of the 36 different possible combinations. So it would be a 136. And the probability of rolling a three there were two ways of doing that, so that would be a 2 out of 36. The probability of rolling a 4, there are three ways. Um, and then if we were to continue this, the, um, the sum that is the most probable value would be a 7. Um, if we were to finish this and look at the table here, we'd see that, <coughs> that 7 has the most, um, 7 is the most frequently occurring sum. And so I'll just kind of dot, 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 do an ellipsis here, and 7 um, follows this pattern that we see here. So if there's a 7, um, the most, um, or the, the frequency with which it occurs, or the probability, or the proportion of sh um, squares that are shaded would be 6 out of 36. And then um, these ratios go back down. Until we get down to the Twelve, and there's only one way to roll a twelve. It's and, um, it's if you get a six and a six. There's no other. There's no two other values. 
So this set of values that we see here represents the probabilities. And these are the probabilities that the values above it can take on. So these values that we're looking at, the entire set of values, are random variables. When we roll two dice, we don't know if it's going to be those two will give us a sum of a four, three, five, eight, nine. We don't know what they're going to be. But if we give each one of these random variables a label, we could enumerate, right? Come up with a list of all of these values. And we would see that um, we have um, a total of Let's see, 6 going up, and then we would have 11 values in total. So, um, so those are all of the probabilities associated with all of the random variables. And we were able to enumerate those random variables because these are discrete. There's, a, there's no random variable that's a 2.1 or 3.1. These are discrete. The only values that these, that, that the outcomes can take on, that these random variables can take on, are these discrete values of 2 through 12. And then the probability associated with each one of those random variables, we'll say x sub i, can be shown in this set. Um, so this is uh, the probability distribution function that we've generated down here. It relates a random event to the probability of that random event occurring. Um, so the probability of let's say x sub 2 is going to be um, 2 out of 36, right? The probability of the random event, um, and the probability of a random event being a number 3 that's generated is 2 out of 36, or 1 18th if we wanted to round down. So that's what a probability distribution is. It's these two sets. It's the random variables, and then it's the probability associated with each one of those random variables. Um, so that's where we start. Um, now, we haven't talked about um, how we get averages or anything else. I'll save that for the next discussion. Um, but that's just an introduction to probability distribution function.